We don't know they're, where they're coming from, where they're going, what their intentions are. What's up, P Nation? Today is our first day on our seven day, three country tour of the Baltics. Yay! So we're starting here in Tallinn, Estonia, and we're going about 300 kilometers south to Riga, Latvia. It's supposed to take four hours, and I think we're gonna be able to stop at a marshy type hiking trail along the way to like hike along the coast, but we have to find it, and I so far I haven't been able to find it, so we'll see if we can find that. It's yes. supposed to be a beautiful day outside, and it's gonna be amazing. Got the keys, we're ready to go. Let's do it. Bye, nice Airbnb. So we booked ourselves here a brand new Kia Seed with 700 kilometers on it. It's brand new, there's no scratches or anything. Stopped at the grocery store, been driving for like 30 minutes, and apparently these pieces of fried bread. What are they called? They're like I feel like they're just croutons. They're a very Estonian thing. Very apparently. Estonian thing, and it's like bread that is crispy fried. I don't know if you can see it. I can't really see it. And then Sorry. like in garlic, like crispy no. fried in garlic. Oh, it's soft. It's not crunchy. It tastes like Chex Mix. It does taste like Chex Mix. Mm -hmm. it's salty. Like the best part of Chex Mix that you want. Not too garlicky. Not too garlicky. I was expecting just like garlic crunch. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good if you're ever in Estonia. You should try it. How good. And now we're traveling two hours to the national park. the car and we have driven two hours to Latvia yes. we are just across the border we might actually be hiking back into Estonia I don't really know where this hiking trail goes <laughs> we're hiking to the water hopefully yeah it's like we're the really sure. <laughs> it's called I think it's called the Gulf of Riga so right now we're going parallel to it I think sometime this trail will take a right but we'll see we're a little paranoid getting out of the car for like ticks I don't know and all of a sudden Daniel and I like we're just like feeling all these ants on us. There's like one really like right here on my chest. There's a few on his feet. We don't know where they're, where they're coming from, where they're going, what their intentions are. Ah, we have made it. The sun's out. The past couple days in the Baltics have been super cold. So yes. this is really nice. Like it's like a getaway from that coldness. I'm sure you can hear the wind in the mic right now. It's like softly blowing, we're just like walking through the meadow. Every once in a while there's a boardwalk, which I didn't think was necessary, but it's actually really marshy here. Yeah, it's a meadow marsh. <laughs> a meadow marsh. It's a meadow marsh. So it's like keeping us out of the mud so that we don't get our rental car dirty. There you go. Into the top, we started from over there, walked all the way on the boardwalk. We tried to go on like some padding next to this thing, but Daniel just fell in the water. And so we walked all the way into this hut, and the thatched roof is amazing. We have not seen one yet. I thought we would see one by now, but we haven't. So this is our first thatched roof. Yeah. Kind of reminding me of like my hometown and Denmark put together. Does that make sense? Yes. So, like mar or marsh meets like Nordic thatched roof architecture. Lots of wood. even have crab apples just like home yeah. okay made it back to the car and now we have an hour and a half till we get to the capital of Latvia and we made it and two hours later we made it to Riga the weather is amazing. It Our is. Host, Airbnb host was not amazing, but we're gonna see if this room is amazing. Double door. Okay. 
big one. Cool. This is a big old apartment. What? Okay, we made it to the Airbnb. It's okay. It's very nice. We just had a rough, rough time getting here. And it was on the sixth level. Of course, I had to take both of our bags up the stairway because you know I'm not about to do that. And next, anyway. <laughs> we're gonna go to dinner. And then grocery store. And then back here. And not to mention, this Airbnb is full of amenities. We love coffee, but we never buy it because it's an expense. So, we just love it when they give you everything you need. So we got a little bit ahead of ourselves with a kebab. We went in the place, it was absolutely delicious. We ate it and didn't film any of it. And we're really, really sorry about that. So we started walking into the old town. It's really lovely. It is perfect jacket weather. It is 9.05 p.m. and the sun is still out. It is so bright. It feels like it should be five o'clock, but it's not. So, Considering we're here in Riga for only one night, we're gonna go back to our Airbnb, call it a day, because we're gonna wake up early tomorrow, check out the city, and we're really excited for it. So we'll see you tomorrow. We've driven two hours to Lithuania. Nope. <laughs> I don't know about this. That's how I feel. That is totally how I feel. There you go. Thank you.